Hey YouTube! My name is Ambrosia27 and welcome to the second video in my YouTube series. It still doesn't have a name, but it will eventually. So this week I wanted to start off with an update on how it's been for me up till now. And I just want to say that I had no idea how difficult it was going to be to try to remove all processed foods from my diet. When I go grocery shopping, I do a pretty good job of writing a list and sticking to it. And the only time I really deviate from that is if I go grocery shopping hungry and then I end up going in with a plan to be healthy and walking out with two pints of Ben & Jerry's ice cream, Reese's Oreos, and salt and vinegar chips. But this week I actually did really well. I went to Winco like I always do and I bought veggies and fruits and chicken and tilapia and you'll notice I'm not saying any red meat because I made the decision for myself to just remove it from my diet. But it was actually really difficult making sure that I looked for things that were non-processed. Uh, especially when I went in with this plan to make these oatmeal protein bars, which I actually have a description, a URL for in the description. And I wanted to buy some whole oats and, you know, uh, raw honey, raw almonds, and like unprocessed cranberries, and I really couldn't find uh, the unprocessed cranberries. I found some old-fashioned oats, which I'm hoping are similar. I found the raw almonds, and I found raw honey, but it was like $13 for a container this big, and I can get a container that same size of organic honey for six. So yeah, I think that says something. I'm just, I can't reasonably buy that. But yeah, and then I got the regular cranberries because Winco doesn't seem to carry anything else besides that. And I came home and I was looking at my pantry and I realized how much pasta and peanut butter and Nutella and cereal I have in there and it was kind of like, I didn't realize how much processed foods were already in my life. Despite being kind of disappointed in myself for having so much processed foods, um, it actually seems to be working pretty well for me because I weighed myself this morning and I am down to 224, which is really great. And let me just say that any deviation from what you weighed the day before, one or two pounds, is going to be normal weight. That's from eating or water or normal stuff. Anything beyond that, especially if it's weight loss, is something to celebrate. And even if you did end up gaining a couple pounds, it's no big deal. All you do is say, okay, today was kind of bad, you know, today I maybe fall off the wagon a little bit but tomorrow will be better and that's what I try to do when I fail for me when I fail to stick to the plans I want like yesterday I went out with friends before I went to work I went to go get Mexican food and I bought a lengua taco a lengua burrito which is cow tongue I know kind of gross for some people don't worry it's cool and I had that I went to work and then after work which was 10 o'clock at night I went to pick up a friend and we went to Denny's and despite telling myself that I wasn't going to eat, you know, anything, I ended up ordering this big old breakfast platter and an ice cream thing at the end and I have had to tell myself that it's okay. If you're craving something or if you really want to eat something and it just looks good and you're hungry, don't get down on yourself for doing it. Even if it means going outside of your diet. It's not like you can't just get back on the next day. And that's what I did today. I woke up this morning, I had one of my protein bars, I had some spaghetti squash with pistou, which is like the French version of pesto, don't quote me on that pronunciation, it was probably really bad, and some chicken. And I'm doing good now, I'm back on track, no worries. So this episode we're going to be talking about budgeting which really comes into play when you are trying to focus on eating healthy and it's not exactly inexpensive where you live. Firstly, I use an Excel spreadsheet to monitor my expenses every month and I'd be more than happy to upload that for you guys to download off Dropbox. And a good chunk of my expenses during the month goes towards groceries. And I really don't like it when people talk about how eating healthy is inexpensive because it's not. And that's not even taking into account uh, food deserts and 
things literally just being inflated beyond what it ought to be. I used to live next to two 99 cent stores and it was kind of amazing to see the difference between just those two stores and they were within five miles of each other. Back home, there's a 99 cent store about 10 miles from where I live and they sell fruits and veggies there. I'm not sure if they do at all of them. And those were actually pretty good. So I would go there sometimes and pick up some, you know, squash or limes or tomatoes for dinner and we'd be good to go. But it's not the same where I used to live. The one closest to my work had a bunch of fruits and veggies there and they were pretty okay. I think I might have bought something there once or twice. But the one that was right across the street from my house was a completely different story. I went there one time to go buy eggplant because I had remembered seeing it a time before and there was just juice on the floor. I'm not sure how eggplants produce juice. There were flies around it and it was probably one of the most horrifying scenes I've ever seen. But that really says something about availability and location and that's definitely something to consider when it comes to eating healthy. I'm really fortunate. I have a job and I work a decent amount of hours, so I have a good chunk of money to spend and I'm not forced to just shop at, say, a 99 cent store. Like I said, I shop at a Winco and things aren't exactly inexpensive there, but they're definitely not as crazy as if like, I went to Trader Joe's, which for me is expensive because I did not grow up shopping there. Then there's the meat. And I really do enjoy eating meat. Let's not make any dirty jokes, as this channel is still a baby, and there will be plenty of time to make those later. But yeah, like I said, I'm trying to stick to chicken and fish, and depending on what kind of chicken you get, what kind of cut, that can definitely be pretty pricey. Fish itself is definitely pricey. It's been crazy expensive in certain places that I've looked at, and that definitely determines what I end up buying. I give myself $100 each paycheck to spend on groceries and uh, sometimes a little bit more for eating out with friends. And I know that seems like a lot, especially when I talk to my best friend who tells me she only spends $25 a week on groceries, 25 to 35 I think she said. But when I think about it, this food lasts me two to three weeks and if I had spent money eating out every night. That's $25 a meal with dip. And within four days I've already spent the same amount. And that's not including other meals throughout the day. So I think it's a pretty good plan. But I recognize that not everybody has the same amount of money to spend. And when it comes down to availability and inflation, it's pretty difficult to stay on track. I recognize that not everybody has the same resources or the same uh, ability to spend money on healthy food, which is why it's definitely good to prioritize what you're going to buy, especially when you're in the habit of eating out or you're in the habit of buying little snacks here and there. It's definitely good to make a plan to buy fruits and veggies to buy those healthier snacks if maybe you don't enjoy fruits and veggies. To think a little bit ahead about how it's going to affect your week and what you can do, what little baby steps you can take to staying on track with being healthy. Thank you so much for watching guys. This is all the time I have for this episode, but I'll make sure that I post the recipe URL in the description and comment and let me know if you want me to upload that blank uh, spreadsheet for you. I'd be more than happy to do it. Also, I have a Twitter now. It's under the same name, Amberosia27, and I, I'm kind of funny sometimes, maybe, who knows? Go ahead and follow me on there. And I know that this is a little bit awkward, a little bit jilted, but I'm getting used to this. You guys are getting used to this. We'll get better at it. Anyways, uh, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully this was uploaded on time, and I'll see you next week. Bye!